So just about a year ago, I brought a product to you that I had found on eBay. And uh, I was looking for a pot at that time, something a little bit smaller than the Zebra Billy Can, something that would be less expensive than the Zebra Billy Can, but serve all the same functions. So what I found, what I brought to you was the Camelwell 1.2 liter pot, kettle, I guess it's pot or a kettle, could be both I guess. Anyway, for the last 11 months I've been using this almost exclusively on my trips out into the woods. And I think now I'm ready to give you a long term review. If you're interested, stay tuned. Okay, when I brought this to you originally, I had some comments on the things that I liked about it, and I had some comments on the things I didn't so much like about it. Now, rather than go through all the specifications on this again, what I'll do is I'll leave a link to the original video up in the corner where you can go back and watch my, uh, that video and see all the specifications as well. But one of the things I said I liked a lot about this pot back then was the bale. It's a stand-up bale that stays upright and you don't have to worry about falling over. In addition, the bale also has a bit of a hook right here, which makes it easy to keep it centered either on a toggle or on a hook of some type. The other thing I said I liked about it back then were the butterfly canteen style handles on the side. Another one of the features I really liked about it was the stand-up D-ring. Makes it easy for getting the lid on and off while it's over a fire. And one of the last features I mentioned I really like about it was the separate spout. So it's not formed into the rim, but it's tack welded onto the outside of the pot itself. Inside of that spout were a number of small holes that would be useful for straining out coffee grounds or tea grounds or items like that when pouring from it. The things I said I wasn't too sure I liked about it, number one was the fact that these handles were loose and floppy and that they made a lot of noise when uh, they were in my backpack or when I'm just handling the pot. What I did to fix that was easy, very, very easy. Let me just fold them out of the way. At the top of the tubes where the handles run through, just tapped them very lightly with a hammer. Not so hard that they flatten them right out, just enough so it puts some friction on the handles and you can see they stand out right quite well now works well. The small holes in the spout. I was concerned about those and uh, my concern was is that as I poured from the pot the holes were so small that they didn't allow enough fluid to come out fast enough and as a result any fluid, soup, water, tea, coffee would want to flow out over the top of the pot itself. The fix for that was easy but a little bit more work and that was to drill the holes larger in the spout. Hopefully you can see that. So I was able to do that, just used a small drill bit, a little larger than the hole size itself, used my drill. It had to come in at a bit of an angle, so it was a little tricky, but nothing that uh, wouldn't be manageable for most people. That has greatly improved the, the uh, pouring from the spout. All right, so how has it stood up? Well, over the last 11 months, I've had this in numerous fires on wood stoves, over open fires, on alcohol, on gas stoves. I've used it a lot and you can tell from the blackening all over it. it. Stood up just fine. I was a little concerned when I first got it that maybe the construction wouldn't be as solid and as bomb proof as a, a zebra billy pot is. Turns out I was wrong. This is every bit as solid. I'm liking how well it's standing up to the abuse that I'm putting it through. When I say abuse, through heavy use, we'll put it that way. So the pot has worked out very well for me, and not just me, but I've heard from a number of other people over the last year who bought the pot based on the video that I put out and said they're having good experiences with this pot as well. So I would say long term, 11 months of use, steady over fires, uh, that this pot has worked out to be a good investment. So as I did in the last video, I'll put some links in the show notes below where you can purchase this pot, I believe on Amazon, definitely on AliExpress, and on uh, eBay, where at least I found them. I will note that the price has gone up a few dollars since I purchased it, probably because of the popularity. It's a good product, still much cheaper than any of the other pots that I compared it against in the original video. Okay, that's all I have for you today. Just a long-term review over an item that I bought myself that I think is well worth looking at if you're looking for a less expensive pot for one person that has these features, the handles, the bale, the lid. Yeah, it's a good product. Okay, that's all I have for you today. Get out and explore. Take that path less traveled. It'll make all the difference. Bye for now.